Welcome back. 944. We always or usually tell our kids not to play with their food, but today we have a delightful exception. Yes, an exception. We're playing with Oreos to learn about the different phases of the moon. And our Katie Blake joins us in the studio for this week's Katie's Science Lab, along with her assistant, David. Ow, that hurt. hurt that yeah. You hit it, but that hurt me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this because yes, everyone gets to play with their food, including David. Uh, but the reason I thought of this is because Saturday, March 6th is actually National o Oreo Cookie Day. So we're, we're having some fun, we're eating some delicious cookies, but Explain we're that. we're going to find out. So Ooh, here's okay. what you are going to need for this activity. Oreos or another sandwich cookie. I'm not going to make you stick with the Oreos. There's a lot of them out there. So any kind of sandwich cookie that has that uh, cream in the middle and a plastic knife. Um, and then as I did this at home yesterday, I also kind of brought in a few more things. I made my little display so that I could so that I could keep it. But if you want to eat the Oreos, then you won't need the, the glue gun and stuff. But we'll get to that. So there are eight phases of the moon. David, can you name a few of them? Full moon, quarter moon. I don't think that's one. That's not a quarter moon. First, waxing. first quarter and waxing, waxing crescent. Waxing. Okay, don't cheat. That's first the answer down there. Okay. Okay. So I what you're going to like do? And quarter and fingernail moon. Just that is. Get, oh, here we go. So we're gonna make one. Tape. Okay. So yeah. So basically, what you're gonna do with your Oreos here is you're going to kind of carve the different phases of the moon into the Oreo cream in the middle. So this can be kind of tricky because when you take them apart, sometimes they don't always come apart very cleanly, but let's see, let's use this one. So we can do a- Let's just start with the full moon. We can do, you got the party size, well, yeah. right? <laughs> we can do, yeah, so the full moon, you don't really have to, if you can get a, you know, a clean break there, you can just leave all the cream there. That's the full moon. Uh, if you want to do one of the quarters, that would be half of it. So you'd take it and then you'd kind of carve Oh, my cookie broke. That was also a problem I ran into. So this may take a little bit of time, and honestly, that's okay. But so you would carve half of the cream out. You can do. also you. I think it's it would actually room. work better to use like a toothpick because uh, that would be. You know what? It really worked good. Watch this. Oh. So you take your Oreo uh -huh. and you break it off, and you want to do like like a half moon. You just. That works as well. Just the kidding. whole thing. The See, teeth work. That's kind of a half moon go. right there. See how that worked? <laughs> Voila. Oh, look, look. That's like the man yeah. right there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's, that's better a, than that, what the knife on any day. That's is that, impressive. Is that one of your things down there, man in the moon? Uh, no, but it certainly can be. I think we just I think we just changed science. So yeah, so this is what you're going to do and I I don't have all the phases of the moon memorized. So I had to uh, use a little uh, diagram here, but here's how here's how mine came out. Nice. I I hot glued them on. Look, one already came off. Um but yeah, so you would do you would start with third quarter mm -hmm. and then waning gibbous and then the full moon here and then waxing gibbous first quarter, waxing crescent, new moon and then waning crescent. So this is a good opportunity to teach kiddos about all the different eight phases of the moon. And this is just, I like it's gonna have fun. Gibbous. It's very nice. I like that. And if you don't, if you wanna eat them all, then you don't, I, I hot glue them on here so I could bring it and show you all, but you can definitely just eat the Oreos. Waning gibbous. How's the glue taste, David? <laughs> he didn't get one of those. <laughs> he didn't get one of those. That's a good visual, Katie. We uh, we were learning about the moon, my, my little girl and I, uh, oh. for first grade, it was like a few weeks ago, but I mean, it's the computer screen because we're doing, you know, virtual stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, good so time to is, review. Yeah, this this is great. Yeah, check out us. Uh, Oreos. <laughs> yeah, if, if, <laughs> yeah, and if you guys try this at home, be sure to email me a picture or a video. We'd love to see them and show them off next week on uh, GMSA at 9. Cool. Yeah, the rest are for you, David. Yeah, we'll see if we, we can keep the, the example. If my little girl doesn't start eating them like David. <laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles. All right, Katie, David, thank you guys. Thanks, guys.